Is there any story so sad as that of love lost? For those of us who love cars, these past relationships haunt us. Not because they left us, but because we let them go. We lament selling that one special automobile that can never be replaced. But sometimes, love once lost is found again. The 54 All right. Series BN1, which is the first Austin Healey ever made. They only made this car for three years, and then they wanted to make it a little faster, so they put a six-cylinder engine in it and called it the Austin Healey 100-6. However, the 100-6 was not as fast as the original 100 with its four-cylinder. So that didn't last very long either. So then they went to a big old three-liter motor and came out with the 3000, which existed until 1967. And Donald Healy said, I cannot or I will not subject my automobiles to the American pollution standards. So he just shut the production of Austin Healey down. The car was shown as a prototype at the London Auto Show in 1952, but it wasn't quite finished. In fact, they didn't have an engine for it. At the time, it was called the Healey 100. After the show, it got such rave reviews that Donald Healey struck a deal with Mr. Lord of Austin Motors, and they, Austin supplied a big old truck, four-cylinder motor, to put in this car, and that's where the Austin yep. name came from. And it was odd because the Austin A90, which was the truck that this came from, had a four-speed column shift. And of course, being a sports car, it's gotta be on the floor. But when you moved it from the column to the floor, that reversed it. So the H pattern is backwards. And being a truck motor, it was very torquey. Great big four-cylinder, 2.6 liter four-cylinder. First gear was so low that it was not usable in this lightweight car. Yeah. Hence, they put a plate to block first gear so you couldn't put the car into first gear. So you started in second, third, or fourth, and the car doesn't care. Yeah, it's it'll it'll yeah. come off the line in fourth gear just fine. Thank you very much. That's and it's amazing. also fitted with a um, electric overdrive, which is beneficial if you're driving at speed. So it's pretty well behaved at speed, other than the bugs. <laughs> Reasonab reasonably, it's a 50, 1954 automobile. It's um, 65 years old, so it, it shakes a little bit. It character shakes. Yeah. And of course, the first three years of the BN1 and the BN2, which was the model with just a few improvements over the BN1, they had the two position windshield, normal upright windshield to keep bugs out of your face and the very popular low position which the factory claimed was good for six miles an hour by reducing the draft and I call it the chick magnet position. Was it? A, I know they raced these a lot, was that sort of a racing thing that they did? Donald Healy wanted to have the car be successful at racing. He had made some race cars before this, the Nash Healy, for example. It's said that some of these early cars were given to very successful European racers to race, and maybe they were slightly modified as opposed to the ones that were coming off the production line. And there's a way you can tell the engines painted a different color, among other things. Also, he gave some to his friends with slight modifications. And they were very successful in racing as well as uh, competition rallying. The whole market was intended for the United States. Really? Yeah, about 80% of all Austin Healey's of any stripe were sold in the United States. That was their target market. Wow. And they were attempting to position the car between price point, between MG and the Jaguar XK120. So what's the furthest you've ever had it? 
Well, this is a summer car, yeah. and there's one disadvantage. The exhaust system, you can see the pipe yeah. hangs out down there, is right under the drive, goes right between the driver's legs. So you got to heat it. It is really hot in yeah. this car in the summer. It's unpleasantly hot yeah, in the summer. And they all are. So what kind of condition was it in when you got it? Did you buy it fully restored? No, 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 no. Oh, it was crazy. in good condition. On the scale of one to four, it was maybe a three. It's now close to a one. But I, I, it's, I, I don't treat it as a show car. I drive it regularly. Sure. And I, don't, I won't trailer it. I'll tell you a story. When the National Austin Healy Meet was at the homestead, I drove this and did okay in my class. But my friend drove his a 1967 BJ8 from Little Rock. There were 92 BJ8s in his class. The majority of all the Healy's there were trailered in. He drove from Little Rock, got out of the car, won best in class, and drove back to Little Rock. What all have you done to it that you had to have? You said it was about a three. Um, I pretty much have replaced the interior, leather, black with red piping, and of course the car is red with a black cove. Completely reconditioned the dashboard and instruments. Was that a difficult thing? Actually, the instruments were in pretty good shape. The gas gauge didn't work. Uh, the blinkers didn't work, uh, but I've got everything there working pretty well now. Most anything you need is available. The trunk is, is as it should be, the, though it's a mess right now. And of course the side curtains, since it has no windows, are in here. And these are all original side curtains. And the original case for it, which is pretty hard to find. Gas tank. So you have to open the trunk to gas it up? Yes, and there's a safety precaution. Because it's wide open, you can jump in it. People who know how could hotwire it. Down under there, you can see the word off. That's a kill switch. You can cut the battery on or off, and you can lock the trunk. You can't lock the side doors. There are, there are no handles. The badge changed later, didn't it? That changed right after the uh, London Auto Show in 1952 when Donald Healy struck an agreement with Mr. Lord of Austin Motors to buy motors for this car, uh, which were out of the Austin A90 truck. Another thing unique, the bonnet opens this direction. You'll notice I said color of the engine is unique. All Austin Healy motors are a metallic green. This engine's never been painted. It was a uh, color called Nunley Red, and that was what was painted on the cars that were made a little bit peppier for racing and for Donald Healy's uh, buddies. The area below on the body is called the Cove. that just begs to be painted two-tone. You have a, a lot of different cars. Is there any that you'd say is your favorite? I know you brought this one out. You wanted to show this one off. Would this be your favorite? Uh, yes, Th this car is my favorite. I showed you a picture of my blue and white 100, which mm -hmm. I owned many, 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 many years ago and restored. And I sold it reluctantly to buy my first 911 Porsche, 1982. For years, when the car guys get together, my buddies, I've always said, of all the cars I've ever owned, I should never have sold that Healy. And my wife has heard me say that a thousand times. <laughs> she was in Tennessee caring for her ailing mother when I found this car, in Lynchburg actually. And I called her up and I said, I have found a Healy that I'm thinking of buying. It's not cheap but I could probably turn around and sell it immediately and make nice profit, or I could restore it and, and really make a nice healer. And she said, that's fine, honey, you do whatever you want, but I don't want to ever hear you again say of all the cars I should never have sold, it's that healer. 